Otep, Shalom, Namaste. Today I want to talk to you. I've uh, got into a debate with my boys and um, we was talking about how would God send someone to hell? Does he choose who goes to hell rather? Does God choose who goes to hell and who goes to heaven? Short answer, no, he doesn't. Well, he in the end, he ultimately makes the decision. The ju he judges who goes to heaven and hell. But the debate was, does God actually choose who goes to heaven and who goes to hell before they're even born? Is God sending people to hell knowingly? God is not sending people to hell by his own free will. God is not picking who goes to hell and just sending them to hell. He's not manipulating people's minds and sending them to hell. God is not waking up in the morning and now oh, you're going to hell. He's going to heaven. She's going to hell. God's not doing it like that. The righteous will be separated from the wicked, period, at the end of the day. Number two, um, God does not send anyone to hell knowingly. So if God, well, I mean, he does not send somebody to hell for eternity knowingly so before you even born he knows that god whatever god is he it she whatever god does not send you to hell for eternity if god knows the outcome of every situation why would god send you to hell just because you've made a mistake just because you was confused god is not going to send you to hell for eternity if he knows you're going to be born into this world in confusion into harsh conditions knowingly that is not God. But y'all going to see the real father. Om Tat Sat. Eya, 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 Asher, Eya. El Elyon. He has many names in all religions, all languages. The true high source, I prefer to call him. This entity is real. God is not going to send you to hell for eternity. Blessings be upon my friends and family. I bind up all powers of Satan and his demons and his army. I bind up all powers of Beelzebub. I bind up all powers of the wicked one. And may the righteous rise in the name of truth, love, justice, wisdom, and compassion and generosity. Now listen to me speak, brothers and sisters. God is not going to send you to hell for eternity because you was on the wrong path. You will go to hell for being on the wrong path. But you're not going to go to hell for eternity. No loving God is going to do that. Your God is weak if you proclaim that. If you proclaim it, you will see the power of my God. My entity, my God that reside within me and in heaven and on earth. My God, the true high source, is not going to abandon any of his people. It's not going to choose one group of people over the other. The true high source is here for all of you. Hebrew Israelites, Greeks, the Gentiles. Uh, well, I, well, I mean, well, of course you got to believe in God. But it is here for anyone who believes in God. If you believe in God, it is here for you. You will be saved. That's what it says in the Bible. Those who are dead in Christ shall rise first. Who is the dead in Christ? Those who die with the Christ mindset. It don't matter what religion you are. You are condemned by your works, not by your faith. You don't have to believe in Jesus to go to heaven. You don't have to believe in Jesus to go to heaven. The righteous is going to rise. You will see people from all cultures in heaven. People from all religion in heaven. And those who reject the others, they will, well, they might be in some other heaven. But this beast who have deceived the world, it will be slayed. This beast will be slayed because it has put a fear tactic into the world. God does not desire worship. God does not desire worship. God desires you to be at your best. You're perfected. God desires for you to go out here and do what is right according to uh, truth. And love and compassion. You can be the most wicked person and believe in God. But you got you got the game messed up if you think you're about to go to heaven. Being wicked. And repenting on your deathbed. Nay, Kylia. No, it's not going to happen. You must do what is right according to truth. Even God does what is right according to the truth. 
Why wouldn't he expect the same out of his people? Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, kings and queens, devas and devis, a decree is being sent out into the ether. Death to the wicked and salvation to the righteous. Salvation to the meek. Salvation for the humble. We all must get on this path of awakening. Not this so-called conscious community. The conscious community is death and destruction is wicked. The conscious community promotes uh, black women exposing their breasts. Uh, white women uh, showing the world their naked body. Why would you tempt somebody with this favor? I mean... It's not even about the temptation. Even Buddha condemned that. When the women were dancing in front of Buddha, they were beautiful, naked. Buddha had nothing to do with that. Why would you expose your beautiful body sit, created by God to the world? It should only be used sit for your man. Only your man, your loved one, should have eyes on that body. Until God himself comes down and says, it's the end of that. Your body should be only seen for your man only, for your husband only. You're showing off. You're showing off. See the light went out? You're showing off. Stop showing off. Be humble. Don't show off. Even with clothes, be humble. But if you don't have any clothes, then it's okay. Go out here and be humble. But don't show yourself and tell the world that you're beautiful because you can. It's so many parameters, factors behind this. It's ridiculous. You being a human, you being the person you are, how can you go out here and hurt somebody, destroy someone, distract them from the truth, tell them what is within them is evil, and also take something they love? How can you go out here into the world and deceive them? How can you show off and glorify your body? Glorify God first. Glorify the Holy One before you glorify yourself. Before you put yourself on that pedestal, you put God on a pedestal. You ain't God until you know who is God. Then you'll receive his blessing. Then you shall become God. Then you'll become one with the true source. You practice bhakti and you submit yourself before the true high source. Do not proclaim yourself as God. Submit yourself before the one who made you God. As a teacher does his student, a student never says I'm the teacher. A student recognizes who gave him that knowledge. Period. Peace, blessings to all entities. Peace and stay blessed, everybody.